Okay, right now it's all about Iowa for O'Malley. He has moved a lot of his staff from here to Iowa to focus on the caucuses. As for that money move, well, taxpayers are now funding his campaign. Emails to potential donors within the last two weeks signaled financial trouble for Martin O'Malley's presidential bid. Quote, I really need your help. Your support is critical to keep my campaign going, he wrote. Tonight, O'Malley confirmed on Bloomberg Television that he'll accept public campaign money. It's a move that'll keep the campaign's bank account in the black for the short term, but later puts spending limits on him that experts say will make it difficult to compete with Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Is that a sign of a financial desperation? Is that well, a sign of a campaign, a campaign so low on funds that it must turn to the government to match? Well, look, I've never been the big money candidate here. Third quarter fundraising reports have him at a distant third. O'Malley's campaign has shifted more staffers from his Baltimore headquarters to Iowa ahead of the February caucus vote. We have a lot of traction on the ground. These matching funds will guarantee that we're able to make our case to the people of Iowa. But it does not guarantee a spot on the caucus scorecard. In most Iowa precincts, a candidate must have at least 15 percent backing or be scored as zero. The latest Iowa poll average has him at four and a half percent, but the former Baltimore mayor and Maryland governor keeps making his case. I have the executive experience. I've gotten things done. I have a new perspective, and I'm not part of the polarized gridlock of Washington, D.C. And national polls conducted so far in November have O'Malley polling anywhere from zero to seven percent. We're live in Midtown Baltimore. George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.